In this video, we take a final walk down with the client before the first energization of this 85 MVA 11 to 33 kV transformer. The first energization will also energize the auxiliary transformer that converts 11 kV down to 3.3 for use on the site. The final main element of the HV circuit to be energized will be this gas turbine circuit breaker. Turbine on the left and the circuit breaker on the right. The network has already been configured and this is the final walk down to confirm that the no circuit earths are remain on the system and that the circuit breaker to the gas turbine generator is open. Circuit breaker is withdrawn and open. A final check of the spare current transformers to ensure that all the links are installed so no dangerous voltages can appear on the instrumentation is undertaken. Once all that is verified, a final walk down with the client on the transformer itself. Because of the size of this transformer, there is massive voltage variations when it's first switched in. For this reason, it has to be set to tap 21. We confirmed with the client that we were in local control, not computer control, so that tap 21 would remain in service during the first energization. Next, we confirm with the client that the circuit breakers are all closed for the control of this transformer, and that all the spare CTs are also shorted out. As all the cabling, all the systems have been tested and verified, this was just a final look through of the cabling to ensure there'd be no damage overnight. This is the 11 kV side cabling. Check around the transformer to make sure there's no oil leaks and that all the associated valves are open and closed in the correct positions. The liquid level in the conservator above was also checked, as were the valve positions. There's no leaks in sight. 33 kV cabling, all looks good on this side. And just took a quick record of the nameplate, technical details of this transformer. We continue to have a look around the transformer to check for any oil leaks to make sure the earths are connected and we can't see any problems. Once the client is happy, we move on to the adjacent bay with the 11 to 3.3 auxiliary transformer. Again, the whole system was configured in the previous days and checked. And this is the final walk through just to make sure everything is as it should be. This transformer does not have an onload tap changer, but an offload tap changer, which means the transformer needs to be de-energized before you can make a tap adjustment on the hand wheel above. It's set for mid position tap and locked into position conservator and pipe work was checked for any oil leaks and the level in the conservator was also checked against the temperature to make sure I had the correct level. Again the cabling was inspected this is a 3.3 kV trefoil configuration going off to the MV switchboard. Both the windings the HV and the LV have a star point which is connected to earth via a neutral earthing resistor to limit the fault current. This is the HV side neutral earthing resistor. And this is the 11 kV cables from the transformer next door. You may have seen the old phase colors with yellow and blue, which are used still for voltages in the high voltage range. Final check was with the 3.3 kV auxiliary switchboard 
to make sure the incoming switch was in the test position, racked out, and the circuit earth was locked open. Finally, we just want to set the meter to record the voltages when the system is energized for the first time. As you can see, no voltages are on the system at the moment. Once the site is checked and we're happy, we move off to the remote 33 kV substation. This is an SF6 switch, which is currently out of circuit. We now prepare it for service. And this is the first energization using this button in the back. Okay, Dave, closing the circuit breaker. Oh, nice day. Uh, Don't open it. <laughs> the system was successfully energized, and the voltages we and the voltages can be seen on these protection relays. Back to the 33 kV substation, just to make sure that we have every phase, even though the instrumentation tells us we do. The circuit breaker is closed, and this is the first test of these buttons. To check the phase voltage. That's all good. So back to the main site. We check that we got voltage on the GT circuit breaker. And then onto the 3.3 kV switchboard. And there's each of the line voltages. And we got V sequence of one, positive phase sequence. So the phase sequencing is correct. 